Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here, covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse, today, Friday, February 24th, 2023. Now, yesterday, Sam Bankman-Fried was hit with four new charges. A superseding indictment was unsealed by Judge Kaplan, and it has some new charges. It has bank fraud, some securities fraud, some campaign finance, much more detail. Um, things are not looking good for Sam Bankman-Fried, but things are looking good in the sense that, unlike others, he's out on bond, chilling in Palo Alto. Um, he was watching the Super Bowl. We'll see if that continues. Meanwhile, today there's a civil case against a man, a, a crypto alleged fraudster who is detained, um, Avi Eisenberg. It's Mango Labs versus Eisenberg. 10.30, I'll be there, and uh, we'll figure out what's going on with that. Um, meanwhile, here's, a, here's a, for those of the New York persuasion, Lawrence, Norman Seabrook, not Lawrence, Norman Seabrook, um, He's been in jail for some time on, on uh, corruption. He's asked repeatedly. He's a lawyer, very aggressive. Finally, he's won it. Uh, yesterday or today, Judge Hellerstein has an, said he can be released, but there's a 10-day stay on it um, so that the government can consider its options. Maybe they're going to appeal. We'll have to see. Now, yesterday at the United Nations, there was a second day of a General Assembly gab fest on Ukraine. And even the, even, even the reports screaming its headlines that it has absolutely zero effect. The General Assembly has no power. Countries such as South Africa, India, these are abstentions. Um, but they'll do it again today. They'll do it today in the Security Council. You see, the UN has done absolutely nothing to stop the suffering and the slaughter in Ukraine. But they've, they've, they've gotten a good ride out of it. It's particularly so, uh, Antonio Guterres, who has managed to somehow erase that initially he said that not to call it an invasion. There's an email, there's a UN email to their staff saying, don't call it an invasion. Um, walked, walked away from that, represented himself as some kind, kind of a humanitarian. He's always recasting himself that way. But what this means is trying to help Russia sell ammonia through a Houston-based commodities firm called Tramo. Yes, the UN is totally corrupt. They've thrown out the press that asked, but we won't cease. We've appealed. Watch this space.